for the snow bean chili, I'm going to use my heavy enamel coated cast iron pan. So use just some pot, Dutch oven, whatever you want to call it. So just use something heavy and put just a little drizzle of oil in the bottom. Now hopefully, while I've been doing this other stuff, it's not too hot. So hold on. I'm going to add one pound of ground hamburger. You can use turkey or chicken, whatever you want to use. Break that up a little bit. Now I'm going to hit it with my house seasoning to season the meat, not only the sauce. To this we're going to add one small onion and one small green pepper. And this green pepper, it was small, but look how much it chopped up to. That is a lot of green pepper, but I'm going to go ahead and add it. Then we're going to add one clove of minced garlic. So, oh, there it went. <laughs> I just eyeballed it. And we're going to cook this down. I'm going to continue chopping the meat. We're just going to cook this down until everything is tender. The beet beef is um, completely cooked and the vegetables are starting to get tender. The meat is now done. The vegetables have started getting tender. I got it all chopped up nice and small. I've turned the burner down. It'll take it a few minutes to actually register, but I've turned the burner down because I want this to simmer. First thing I have is an eight ounce can of tomato sauce, a can of diced green chilies, and I'm not gonna drain it and a can of stewed tomatoes, and I have the sliced kind, but this is what I'm going to do. I don't want those big chunks of tomatoes in my chili, so I'm going to chop them just like I do my beef. Okay, now any that I miss, there's some bigger ones in here. I can come back, come back to it. Okay, now we want to add our seasonings. I'm going to try to remember the amounts, but they'll be in the recipe on my website, which will be linked down below in the description box. There's a tablespoon of dried parsley, a tablespoon of chili powder, one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and I think that's a half teaspoon of paprika. I think I might have remembered correctly. If I miss smoke, miss smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of smoke, that was a good um, little faux pas right there. I'm using smoked paprika because I thought that would be good in chili. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this simmer on low. I don't want to ball it or nothing like that. I don't want to um, have it stick to the pan. I'm just going to let it simmer until David gets up probably about an hour. I'm just going to let it sit here and hang out. Just let the flavors get together, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on top of baked potatoes and have a, a chili stuffed baked potato. So I will see you back when it's time to plate it up. Okay, I was going to wait and um, plate this up on my baked potato, but you can hear my air fryer in the background. I underestimated how big those potatoes were and how long they're going to take, and I want to go ahead and get this filmed. I took it out, you can see how. I didn't have to thicken it or anything. It thickened up itself. It just sat there and simmered probably an hour on all the way on low. It, my stove was all the way on low. And I put it in this to measure and it makes five cups. So that's five one cup servings. Or you could have ten half cup servings. It's not going to take a whole cup to put on my baked potato. So probably a half a cup and I can adjust the points when I track it just half of a serving but I'm going to tell you what I tasted it and it's delicious this is so good it's different with the green chilies in it if you don't like green chilies leave them out because you can definitely taste them it doesn't overpower it but you can taste it but the seasoning I think is spot on I don't think it needs anything else 
I, I like the way it turned out. So <laughs> there you have it. That is no bean chili. You can eat it alone on um, baked potato. You can probably put it on rice or noodles or cornbread, whatever you want to do with it. Just like chili, just no beans. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you try this recipe, I hope you like it, and I will see you on my next one.